protect your home from home. Simple Caravan Insurance, sponsors of the Caravan Channel. Let me introduce you to the Sterling Ruby Eccles 90 single axle fixed bed caravan. Now, it was a bit of a mouthful, I know, but it'll be worth it when you have a look inside. This caravan has got a one piece aluminium side panel, which on a wet day is going to be very useful. Now to look at it, you would think that this is a brand new caravan, but in actual fact, the Sterling Ruby was manufactured in 2009. So let's go and have a look inside. Okay, the first thing I notice in the caravan is the blown air heating system that we've got here. And that is gonna provide an awful lot of heat on a wet, cold day. So we'll go into the lounge area, the seating area, very comfortable. This is a 2009 caravan and it's something that we should never forget when we're actually looking at the condition of a caravan of this age. It's obviously had very careful or very light use. And again, one of the things that you notice, which perhaps isn't in every caravan, is the dark wood finish. Not everybody's cup of tea, but the contrast between the wood and the lighter uh, openings of the locker actually work to a very, very good effect which incidentally are all very well made with very good fixings on the handles. They're not one that are going to fall off or slip or break. And in this case, it holds the radio facility and the necessary racks and shelves are in the lockers as they go round. The lounge area transforms into the sleeping area for the other two occupants of the vehicle, bearing in mind that this is a four berth caravan. Also, as we move towards the kitchen dinette area, <clears throat> we've got the sink unit, a standard together with the three burner gas hob and the electric ring, together with the Thetford grill and oven that a lot of the caravans have these days, together with the fridge freezer. Again, Thetford make very well known model. Above the door that we came in are all of the heating controls which will vary both the hot water together with the uh, blown air central heating that uh, works within the caravan. We now come through to the fixed bed layout. Now I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again. It's not everybody's taste that the fixed bed be put against the wall because it means whoever is on this side and I won't sit on it because I don't want to get it dirty, is going to have to crawl over their partner in order to get out, perhaps to use the, bosh, the washroom or let the dog out or anything along those lines. <clears throat> so it's put down to personal taste as to whether or not you like this layout, bearing in mind that, of course, the bed actually has to have one end of it taken off in order for access to go through into the washroom. But nevertheless, it does mean having a fixed bed that you haven't got to make the bed out of the cushions at the end of every day. Again, good use of locker and storage space. You can't have too much storage and this caravan has made very good use of the space that's available. Now, let me just mention again, and it's here in most of the caravans now, we've got the directional aerial and that seems to be in the wardrobe as being the best place for it, together with various heating controls that are fixed underneath. So all of the major controls are out the way and unlikely to be either damaged or misused by people who come into the caravan and accidentally knock something. We're now moving through into the end washroom. Now, because it's an end washroom, traditionally they've got a bit more space than perhaps some of the other caravans that have got a washroom midway through the actual caravan as a layout. But we'll have a look in the washroom and see exactly how the uh, facilities have been uh, laid out. Well, what would you expect to find in the washroom? Well, toilet, sink and shower unit, which of course we've got in this room. The first thing that I've noticed, and you probably have as well, is the comparatively small door that leads into the shower cubicle itself. I can get in there, I'll prove it, I'll do it, and I could have a shower very easily. However, with a bit more thought, I wonder whether this storage area that you see here and the cupboard underneath that contains the table 
if that wasn't there and a wider shower door had been installed, it might have been a better use. However, it's personal preference and at the end of the day, that might suit, this layout might suit you better. So as you would expect, you'd want me to mention the storage facility and there is plenty of storage in the bathroom for your soaps and um, deodorants and all your bits and pieces. <clears throat> As we go through the, the bedroom area for one last time, there are some nice touches. There's a very nice, decent skylight above the, the bed. Lots of little lights here and a nice blind behind the television just to add to that bit of privacy. And again, as we go out the door, there's also just a, a blind in the door should you want um, a bit of privacy again in the evening. The MT PLM on this caravan is 1590 kilograms. And if you're looking for a reliable make, then Sterling is definitely one of those. If you're looking for a reliable model, then Eccles is certainly one of those. Is there anything that you say I might have the wow factor about the caravan? I don't necessarily think there was. However, it has got everything that you would need in a caravan to go on holiday. There is some quirky features, the contrasting trim and the various other aspects of the layout of the caravan but it may well suit you. And if it does, for a price of under £12,000, you might say that you've got a great deal for the money.